The world is eagerly awaiting the Starship flight, and for the people of Texas, the anticipation is heating up. In the past, the Texas government wholeheartedly supported SpaceX. Now, as SpaceX once again faces drama from the FAA, state legislators have spoken out, urging the FAA to ease regulations for SpaceX. Could this be the key to unlocking the path for the fifth flight and many more in the future? Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech, and thank you for joining us. Amid the ongoing delays keeping Starship grounded due to FAA regulations, opposition has emerged. Beyond the widespread criticism from the space community and aerospace industry, members of Congress have also voiced their disapproval of the FAA's handling of the situation. Besides the points we covered in the previous episode, a notable recent development involves a congressman from the House Foreign Affairs Committee who represents Texas's 3rd District. He sent a letter to the FAA's admin, Mike Whitaker, strongly encouraging him to expedite the environment environmental review process for SpaceX's ops in Texas. After this info was made public, it garnered significant attention. Elon briefly responded to two tweets referencing Congressman Self's letter saying, much appreciated and cool. Even we felt a sense of relief knowing that there's still a lot of support for SpaceX. Many media outlets have pointed out that the claim that SpaceX is polluting the environment is absurd, especially considering that all other launch service providers discard their rockets, along with any unburned, potentially toxic fuel into the ocean. Except for SpaceX, which even after a decade is the only company brave enough to build a reusable, outperforming every competitor, including global superpowers. And to this day, SpaceX is a company with global influence, playing an important role in maintaining the U.S.'s leading position in the space race. In Congressman Self's letter, he stated, Our nation must maintain our commitment to leading the world in the responsible and constructive use of space through an innovative commercial industry. And U.S. leadership in this area is dependent on an agile, efficient regulatory system that promotes and enables rapid commercial innovation. Indeed, if the U.S. wants to stay as top dog, its regulatory management has to at least match the pace of the industry's development. But the FAA's restrictive stance on SpaceX's Starship launch process has created significant barriers to the company's ambitious plans. Although SpaceX demonstrated readiness for multiple launches, including the highly anticipated Flight 5, environmental and regulatory reviews by the FAA have led to frustrating delays. These delays not only affect SpaceX's immediate launch schedule, but also threaten the company's long-term goals, like increasing the annual launch cadence from Starbase Texas, which is crucial for advancing both the Starship program and the broader U.S. space industry. We are unable to restrict or regulate our adversaries. We can only out-innovate them. Yes, China is aggressively making strides in their space program. And as we can see, they are closely following what SpaceX does. Why? So they can copy, catch up, and use the very innovations that SpaceX has pioneered to keep the U.S. surpassing everyone else. This risk is growing as many companies in China are adapting to vertical landing methods to keep place with reusables. To prevent this, Congressman Keith Self has proposed increasing the number of Starship launches from Starbase from 5 to 25 annually, enabling the development of super heavy lift and global mobility and logistics technology a disruptive technology that changes the calculus for our adversaries series in the Indo-Pacific as well as NASA's Artemis program to return astronauts on the moon ahead of China. Additionally, Congressman Self publicly criticized the FAA for its slow response, highlighting how bureaucratic processes and reliance on media narratives are undermining innovation in the U.S. space sector. He expressed frustration that the FAA seems to have been swayed by unfounded concerns from national media, despite the agency's own environmental reviews indicating that an increase in SpaceX's launch frequency would not harm the environment. Congressman Self's frustration reflects a broader concern, once again tied to China, whose space programs don't face these regulatory constraints and are actually supported by their government. He argues that if the U.S. hopes to stay the leader, the FAA has to overcome this red tape and allow SpaceX to hit its full potential. The entire letter from the congressman representing Texas points out everything that the FAA seems to have overlooked, hoping it serves as a wake-up call for the agency to reconsider its approach. Besides Congressman Self's views, John Cowan, the newly elected mayor of Brownsville, also supports SpaceX. He described the program as the region's most reputable new neighbor. He called the company great partners with whom he shares open lines of communication and a productive and open relationship. While he has not yet met Elon Musk, SpaceX's CEO, he and city manager do meet regularly with Kathy Loiters, the longtime NASA engineer who's now GM at Starbase, and Marcella Cortez, the facility's external affairs representative. 
Cohen described the community's sentiment towards SpaceX and its desire to launch more Starships each year as very positive. Residents are also pleased with the development of the area's LNG industry. Frankly, the top officials of Texas don't favor SpaceX and Elon by accident. They all have their reasons, which is to make their state stronger and more prosperous. The arrival of SpaceX was like a savior for Texas, bringing about a remarkable transformation to the state. In 2013, and according to the census, the town of Brownsville, Cameron County, Texas, was the poorest city in the U.S. This was a heartbreaking statistic for Texas officials. However, that same year, SpaceX made its appearance and began driving Brownsville to change. According to the latest info from Cohen, Brownsville is now the leading U.S. city in terms of economic mobility growth. Recent investments in the port of Brownsville and several billion-dollar projects, including SpaceX, the commercial space company, which has invested over $3 billion in its starbase operations near Boca Chica Beach, are continuously elevating the economic standing of the area. According to a 2023 economic impact study, SpaceX pumped in $430 million in operations in Cameron County, said former Brownsville Mayor Trey Mendez. The investment includes wages, constructions, and capital improvements. In 2022, the company added nearly a billion dollars to Cameron County's total economic output while also contributing to continued job growth. Mendez notes that SpaceX has become our largest private employer with 1,600 employees, 71% are whom from the Rio Grande Valley, and the company has established a major presence in the city for various operations. Before SpaceX's arrival, Texas already had major universities producing a highly skilled workforce every year. However, at that time, the region didn't have many potential companies for them to grow with. As a result, after graduation, much of the workforce would move to other areas across the country for work. By relocating to this area, SpaceX has created job opportunities for the local workforce. On March 30th, 2021, Elon posted a tweet with the content, please consider moving to Starbase or greater Brownsville, South Padre area in Texas and encourage friends to do so. SpaceX is hiring needs for engineers, technicians, builders, and essential support personnel of all kinds are growing rapidly. This tweet has given great inspiration to the workforce in Texas. At that time, Elon announced he and SpaceX donated $20 million to Cameron County Schools. These are great contributions to help improve the county's education system, creating better conditions for educational institutions to train a high-quality labor force who can choose to come back and contribute to SpaceX or any other company in Texas. As we know, SpaceX is a large company, and its employees get high salaries. And this income helps Texas residents improve their family lives. Not only do SpaceX employees benefit, but workers at other companies also get better compensation. According to an employee at a local manufacturing company, SpaceX's high wages have led local businesses to increase their own employees' salaries. Moreover, tourism activities have also seen an uptick. SpaceX enthusiasts frequently gather here to witness Starship operations. It's estimated that this area could attract 15,000 visitors each month to watch SpaceX rocket launches from Boca Chica Beach. Consequently, many restaurants, hotels, and other services have been developed to cater to the massive influx of tourists. Next year, as the frequency of Starship launches continues to go up, the number of visitors will likely grow even more, bringing revenue to both local residents and to Texas's government. These benefits are incredibly important for a state like Texas. As a result, Texas authorities have given considerable support to SpaceX for the development of its Starship program. Cohen said, how Brownsville can help, but also how SpaceX can help Brownsville, I really appreciate that relationship. It's a symbiotic relationship. Texas is a state with regulations and policies that greatly favor companies like SpaceX. After SpaceX arrived, the Texas government introduced many incentives for this company. In 2014, they granted SpaceX a 10-year property tax reduction in exchange for building the spaceport in the state. They later awarded SpaceX $15 million to encourage and help develop infrastructure. Additionally, SpaceX consistently gets significant support from the Texas state government when launching Starship. While federal agencies like the FAA and Fish and Wildlife have impeded SpaceX's Starship missions, the Texas government has often taken actions to support the company. They work to expedite procedures for SpaceX, like road and beach closures during tests or launches, and assist in processing permits for SpaceX's Starship launches. In 2022, when SpaceX faced FAA investigations before its first orbital flight test, the company considered relocating the Starship project to Florida, which would allow it to expand and avoid stricter regulations from federal agencies. At that time, Texas officials took multiple actions to retain SpaceX. This was understandable, as losing SpaceX would be a significant blow.
They stated they'd do everything in their power to help SpaceX and create the best possible conditions for the company to grow, with a long-term goal of making Boca Chica SpaceX's permanent headquarters. And that would allow Texas to continue growing and rise to becoming one of the leading states in the United States. That's it for today's episode. We thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you here next time. Have a great day. Take care and God bless. Bye.